Deception is built into the very language of the court system. Now, let's look at the world around us. A bureaucracy built on words. A legal system built on words. A government built on words. So how does a government, a power that be, create bureaucracies that are somewhat stable? They have to have a dictionary with words that never change their meaning. What is that dictionary? What is the actual meaning of English words? The words that are used to build city halls, court systems, legal systems and governments? That dictionary that has the true meaning of the words, that doesn't change every two to five years, is called Black's Law. Why is it called Black's Law? This is a riddle that I want to show you how to solve. The last time I was here at City Hall, I talked a bit about Masons. Masons like to use a lot of symbolism in the things they write, in their crests, in their imagery. One of the things in Masonic symbolism is that black signifies death, and white signifies life. Black means dead. Know what you're saying. Another point of trickery that I noticed recently is the word consent. Now, if you look up the word consent in Black's Law Dictionary, it says that consent is a concurrence of wills. Con in Latin means against. Currence is like current. It's a flow. So consent actually means there is a barrier against flow. So when is there no current, no flow? When wills are equal. So a concurrence of wills means that your will is equal to the doctor's will when you're giving consent. And when both wills are equal, they are in equality, in equity, that any decisions made based on equal standings and equal wills is a just decision because it's made in equality. There is a concurrence of wills. That whenever you encounter an agent of the crown, such as the police, or a health agent, or a public health nurse, or a social worker, if they're trying to do something to you that you don't want, that you're supposed to tell them, I do not consent, here's the danger. If you don't know that the Black's Law definition of consent is concurrence of wills, you just said to that police officer, or that agent of the crown, that social worker, I am stating that there is no equality of wills. Now, once you state there is no equality of wills, what does that agent of the crown do? They assume that their will is greater. So the social worker takes your child because they assume their will is greater because you just told them our wills are unequal. That police officer is going to say, yep, he agreed to be thrown in jail because he said, I do not consent. And I assumed my will was greater because the victim just stated our wills are not equal. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where an agent of the crowd is trying to impose his or her will onto you to do something that is wrong, like take your child or throw you in jail, you have to reject their will. And if you say something like, I do not consent, before you say it, you have to say, my will is greater under God. I do not consent your will as someone who swears an oath to something lesser than the greatest individual in the universe is a lesser will than mine. You have to state that clearly. 
that your will is greater and you reject the will of a lesser who swears an oath to a lesser being. Thank you very much.